Oh, I was just uh, making sure that what goes around comes right back around. What up guys, I am Sara Garvey. Welcome back to my channel and this video is one that I never saw myself doing so soon. I probably knew it would come at some point, but karma doesn't really have a timeline. Now, as some of you know, and may not know, I used to work with a woman by the name of Just Pearly Things. Now, the time that I spent working with Just Pearly Things um, was a very interesting one. At the end of it, I made a video called The Truth About Pearl. I never foresaw myself making that video, but the things that I saw while I was there specifically within the last five months of me working with her, led me to that video. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it. Maybe this will make more sense to you. But for those who haven't seen that video, I worked with Just Pearly Things, or Pearl Davis as she's now known, for around a year. Now, during that time, when she first came to London, she said to me, that she wanted to work with me. Now, as some of you may or may not know, I had been doing content in the UK for a very long time prior. She had reacted to my content. And so she said she's starting a podcast and she now wants to get some people on who are kind of known faces within the UK scene because she's gonna be based in the UK. I said, no problem. So what happened is I started working with Pearl on an ad hoc basis. What followed after that was the fact that myself and Pearl's podcast, when I was on, kept on gaining really good numbers. And so we sat down and had a conversation. And so when we had that conversation, we decided that we were going to make a podcast joint together. We called it The Grey Area. It was called The Grey Area and we went on to make that podcast for a fair few months. Now, it was a dual agreement. I got paid. This is not a video about pay or anything like that. This is not a video about what I'm old or anything like that. It's, I've got nothing to do with that side of what she earned. I was paid my fee. I was happy with my fee. Everything was good there. However, what I have seen recently is Pearl Davis say this. I apply for remonetization early February. I was demonetized for saying the word on YouTube. Since then, I have to let go of three employees and have lost over 100K. Gave me zero strikes, zero warnings. They play with people's livelihoods. They play with people's livelihoods. That sounds familiar. Hmm. When I made my video, The Truth About Pearl, what Pearl proceeded to do was to copyright strike my channel 11 times. No, you're not hearing wrong. 11 times times she gave me 11 different copyright strikes on my channel and my channel was inactive for a few months now she tried to play with my livelihood even though we had already agreed to make our podcast so not only did she do that she decided to send me a cease and desist letter let's have a read RE Just Pearly Things. This office has the pleasure of representing Just Pearly Things LLC in business matters. We know that you are familiar with the YouTube account because you've continuously made false and defamatory statements about her. This must cease immediately. Specifically, you have used her works without authorization and have taken her statements out of context in an attempt to misrepresent her words and paint her in a false light and no what i done was post on my channel the podcast that we had together named the gray area now it's for me very interesting that now just pearly things is now crying about having to let go of employees now when i done that video she herself one of the reasons why i done that video she herself called her employees her africans her words not mine. I stated that the majority, sorry, not the majority, all of her staff were black. All of them were black and she called them her 
Africans as if she ran a plantation and those were her workers. Now she says that she's had to let three of them go. Well, sorry for you having to let three of your Africans go, Pearl. Now your plantation is probably dwindling and um, you now have to employ some more Africans. You see, the thing that is interesting to me is that no one escapes karma. No one's ego is too big and no one is exempt from a fall. No one, doesn't matter how big you get, how many people you have following you, how many subscribers, how many followers, how many fans you have, no one is exempt from a fall. And it seems like right now, Pearl, that you're falling. And you're falling due to your own lack of accountability. It's something that you talk about quite a lot on your shows about women not having accountability, okay? Why were you removed from YouTube or demonetized from YouTube? Because you put an underaged girl on the channel and her mother apparently got in contact with you and asked you to take her off the channel. You said no. And then what happened? You are now demonetized. You can say it was because of the word that we stated before, but it was actually because of the fact that you had an underage girl on your channel and her mother did not want her on your channel. When I was working with Pearl, I used the term plantation. And the reason why I used the term plantation was because what I saw was her, the white figurehead, with all of these Africans, as she said, working for her and doing all of her manual labor. You see, there's a lot that could be said about my time there that I haven't stated. And I know she has fans and I know she has followers, but the truth is the truth. We haven't even spoken about her friend and flatmate that was on her show, that was working for her, who she gave four days to move out and threw her on the street. We haven't spoken about that. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why are you playing the race card, Sarah? Why are you saying that she's black? Let's see what Pearl said recently. The real red pill is that Dr. King was a race hustler. Dr. Martin Luther King was a race hustler. At a time where black people were swinging from nooses, hanging from trees, he was hustling race. At a time where black churches were being bombed, he was hustling race. At a time where the KKK were killing mothers, children, men, he was hustling race. These are the types of thoughts from somebody who has absolutely no idea of history. And I stated that. And just like I showed in my last video, there was a time where I tried to educate her on colonization and race and stuff like that. But it already seemed like her mind was made up. You see, people like Pearl, who have the gall and the audacity to speak as if they know something about this historical thing, while Martin Luther King isn't even here to defend himself, he's not even alive to defend himself, shows that she doesn't care. You are a gigantic hypocrite. First of all, you tell women how to have relationships and be in one, and you don't know what it is to have one and be in one. Second of all, you call people race hustlers and you hustle race. And third of all, you try to demonetize people and get people's channel taken down and you are the one who has had their channel demonetized and taken down and now you're crying about it. Karma is a very interesting thing. Now, one of the reasons why I stopped working with Pearl was because of the race thing. She did the Nick Fuentes interview that I didn't know about and I stated no one knew about except for maybe her and her management and her close producer, one of her Africans, who knew about it. I found out about it when it got posted on um, social media. Um, she has decided to hustle race herself by talking about Dr. Martin Luther King, by having people like Nick Fuentes on. Here, it only seems like there's only one race hustler and it's not Martin Luther King. You see, people like yourself, Pearl, don't understand that there is a comeuppance for everything. You attempted to shut my channel down for speaking the truth about you. You attempted to shut my channel down to stop people from understanding exactly who you are. And so, karma has come back around for you. Now, to be honest, I don't like to see anyone's channel shut down. I don't like to see anyone's money taken from them. 
but you had no problem in attempting to do it with me. You had absolutely no problem because you thought that your name was going to be tarnished and the truth was going to be out. Now, the truth is out. And the truth is YouTube have demonetized you and you are now hustling race, just like you said that Dr. Martin Luther King was hustling race. I don't know what the future holds for you, Pearl, but I guess like everyone else, we're sitting here looking on, waiting with tender hooks.